Hi everyone, I'm Daniel from BHG Marine here in sunny Lymington. Today I'm in our own marina here at Burthen, handing over this Geno Mary Fisher 795 Series 2. So thought I'd put together a little video just to show you around. The Series 2 is a brand new model for 2021. This is the first boat we've actually managed to get delivered this year. This particular boat has the biggest engine option, which is the 250 horsepower, the Yamaha 250 horsepower here. 4.2 litre V6. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this new boat performs with that bigger V6 power on the back. The previous model with the 200 horsepower certainly went pretty well, gave you a top speed of around about sort of mid 30 knots or so. So I'm hoping the 250 will really push us up onto the plane much, much quicker, giving that, that uh, kind of sports boat feel. So this particular boat's very high spec, most of the options fitted. So starting at the bow, we have the anchor windlass and anchoring kit. Nice feature is a new flush mounted deck hatch which is really nice. Just means it doesn't protrude up past the GRP deck like the old model used to. And it looks really nice and sleek. New roof rails, which are mounted on the top, give you a really nice handhold when you're walking along the side walkway. And on this particular boat, we've also got the optional crossbars giving you a support there for a stand-up paddleboard. As always, we've got the, uh, the typical Geno opening roof hatch, giving you lots of light and air into the cabin as well. New LED nav lights. And a nice flat area here on the front as well, giving you space for LED search lights, uh, like the LED work light bars that you can fit across the front. And good flat areas here on the roof as well, allowing you to fit lots of optional extras, should you want to. Got the sun canopy on this boat. Just taking up the side panel here, but we've still got the back and the other side in. Uh, nice stainless steel frame now rather than the aluminium, gives it a more premium feel. We've also fitted the Flexi Teak decking on this boat. Bathing platforms, huge on the new Series 2795. Really take up as much space as they can without getting in the way of the engine, so it means getting on the, off the boat is really nice and easy. Nice handle there as well for uh, coming in from the water. Nice new feature is the side door. Getting in and out of the boat now, so much easier. Step straight in. Cushions have a bit more of a premium feel on the Series 2. They're a bit more sort of bolstered. I don't know if you can see. A nice piping, nice contrasting stitching. Very, very comfortable. Also quite thick. Big cockpit table. We've still got that uh, typical U-shaped seating that Jano normally have on their Mary Fishers. But we've actually got the fold-up seat here. A bit difficult to do with one hand. There we go. Um, which means that if you want to take the table out and have that seat folded up, it gives you much more deck space. It means you can get from one side of the boat right to the other. Better for fishing and perhaps coming in and out with water skis and wakeboards on as well, giving you a bit more deck space. Is that new canopy design? Big anchor locker, oh uh, sorry, gas locker. Uh, big gas locker with a gas bottle in there. Fresh water fill and a big wide side walkway. You'll notice they've also fitted the side mooring cleat there as well. Just makes it much easier to tie on a spring. Two deck lockers now. We've got a smaller one on the starboard side and then the main huge locker in the center there. Coming inside, we've got a very similar galley to the original 795 if you opted for the premium galley option. The main difference is we now have the option for hot water. So you'll notice we've got a mixer tap on here as well. It 
Same gas hob as always. Storage space behind and a mains power socket here as well. Cup holders coming below. We've now got magnetic catches. Huge storage space in here. Conveniently, we now got the shore power controls in here. So we've got all the circuit breakers. We've got the battery charger as well. And then we've got all the fuses just hidden behind this panel, neatly tucked away. Gas fittings, gas valve for the hob. Under here, we have the hot water cylinder. So again, very easy to access. You can switch the hot water cylinder on and off from the circuit breaker or just pull the plug out. But the cylinder itself is mounted under here. So easy to get to. Doesn't really need much maintenance, but it's uh, at least it's not buried if you did need to get to it. Fridge, chain supplier, they're now an isotherm fridge rather than a Waco. We've also got quite a convenient sort of storage shelf here in the back of the door. Nice new folding table rather than the old sliding affair. That allows you to move this seat back so you can sit facing forwards when you're underway. This seat also raises up as you move it. So it's actually in a higher position now. So you can see over the bow. And when you move it back, it drops down to its lower position. So you can be comfortably seated at the table. Shani has become really well known for its very deep windows in the wheelhouse. And you can see here, very, very deep windows below elbow height. Big panoramic windscreen, very small pillars, so very few blind spots. And again, nice big windows on the starboard side as well. Coming back to the three leaf rear door, which opens nice and wide. The upholstery in the cabin and saloon is also new. It's like a silver effect. It's really, really nice. Very, very soft to touch. Again, they've added this sort of bolster section to the edge of the seat cushions, giving it a more premium feel, making it much, much more comfortable. I like it, looks nice. That's where it looks, it shines in the, uh, in the sun. Helm seat is made from the outside material to keep it waterproof if you're in and out with wet clothes. Yamaha's electronic control box here. Being the V6 engines, these are all drive by wire electronic control. And then we have the Garmin electronics package. We have the upgrade with a nine inch display giving you a GPS, uh, sonar, active captain, lots of other cool features as well. Fusion stereo with USB and Bluetooth, and the new Yamaha touchscreen engine display, which is really nice. Power thruster, now a side power. And these zip weight controls as well, giving you fully automated trim tabs, uh, leveling out the boat and also giving you auto trim when you're underway. Really, really cool bit of kit. USB charging socket and the ignition switch. And then we have the, uh, the switch panel giving you wipers, screen wash, nav lights, pump, water pump, bilge pump. It's also a useful storage locker here now. This used to be the uh, holding tank on the old model, but this is now just a big storage space. Really convenient. Going forward, we have the master, or the, the forward berth. The small triangular cushion there is removable, giving a bit more room to get into the heads during the day. Shelving unit, similar to the uh, original 795. Again, that new hatch. All the windows have curtains. Power thruster under the bed. 
And a really cool feature is this new design here. So we do have a bulkhead and we do also have a, a curtain which clips across, giving a bit more privacy. But should you want a bit more open plan, this simply opens up, magnetically snaps into place, giving a bit more room, especially if this seat is pushed forwards into the uh, driving position. This panel here is also removable. A bit heavy to do with one hand, but uh, this just removes out. And then in here, you have a really big cavernous locker to store all of your cushions, curtains, whatever else you want to put in there. That's actually underneath the dinette. And you can see underneath this piece of wood here better. So that's really convenient because previously your forward berth always used to be full of cushions. So now everything can be stowed away in this huge, great big space under the, uh, under the dinette. In the heads, big heads compartment for a boat of this size. It's really spacious. Sea toilet is normal. Uh, but of course now we've got hot and cold water with a mixer tap. This also can be lifted out and used as a shower because there is now a pump away in the floor. Uh, we've also gained a holding tank display gauge, which is really useful. Uh, this one here is your uh, pump to pump away shower water. And this one here is your holding tank pump. So that empties out the holding tank, sorry, shaky. Uh, that empties out the holding tank there. In here, <coughs> gives you pipe work, various services, uh, the inlet pipe for the sea toilet flush. So a nice addition having that hot water. The holding tank's moved to underneath here now. So this is your holding tank. This is your holding tank drain, seacock. Uh, and this here is your macerator pump to empty the holding tank. Uh, so it fills the tank up by this pipe here. And then it comes out uh, under here, round, <laughs> and to the macerator pump, which then pumps it out through the seacock. You've also got the shower waste pump here as well that pumps out the shower water. Going aft, the next locker gives you access to your water tank and the screen wash tank and your water pump. Very easy to maintain the water pump. Water strainer is just there. Water tank is easy to clean out and add any purification chemicals as well with the inspection hatch. And the screen wash tank is just there. So that's a brief overview of the new Jeannot Mary Fisher 795 Series 2. I look forward to taking it out this afternoon, seeing how well it performs with the new Yamaha 250 horsepower on the back. If you'd like any further information, please do contact Daniel at BHG Marine. All our details are in the text below. Thank you for watching.